Hello friends, Melmon is here and in this video I'm going to show you the best build for the Star Lord laning. As you know Leech has been nerfed so it's very hard for the Star Lord to do side laning. So here is the power core for the Star Lord. It's not for the Star Lord, it's the mainly which I use on my marksman heroes when I do side laning. And this is the build that I recommend you for the Star Lord laning. This is the best build I have experimented with a various type of different build items and this one this one was the build which I which is the best substitute for my no boots jungle I jungle build that I normally use on my star lord when I do the jungling so the thing is that the main damage which comes from that jungle item that attack speed jungle item twilight beads is that you get extra 50% attack speed and this is very important because if you know star lord his s1 uh, fires extra shots when you increases its when when you increases his attack speed by every 25% so it's like you will fire extra shots uh, with that 50% attack speed that is a lot of damage plus it gives you the hp regen and if you have noticed my star lord build that jungle item uh, that jungle star lord build which i normally use you it has no lifesteal item because my main region comes from the when i uh, like when i kill someone get slow i take the health pack from my tower then i go to the jungle and when i kill the jungle monster i get that region because the tier 1 jungle item gives you extra whenever you like attack the jungle monster you will get region and with this extra 100% hp region it is very beneficial to like get uh, your health back by just by doing the jungle so that's why i never equipped any of the lifesteal item on my star lord the next come is the damage which is 5% of the target's max HP whenever Star Lord deals damage on the enemy. Uh, these are the main stats which were, I mean which are really beneficial for the Star Lord uh, when I used him with the leech. So what was the substitute that I have found I mean that I have find by doing several experiments with the Star Lord is that the Valkyrie bow is the best substitute for this one because its passive is again same similar to that it gives you 8% uh, attack from the max HP uh, whenever you do basic attack on the enemy so it's very beneficial then next come is his the attack speed the Valkyrie bow also gives you 35% attack speed then is the physical attack plus 60 and the lifesteal 10% and notice this lifesteal 10% uh, it is very less as compared to the jungle item uh, because it only gives you 10% lifesteal so you have to be very careful when are when you are using this I mean when you do 1v1 against the enemies and when you region because it is going to give you very less region that's why I have this uh, tactic first aid with me so that I can heal myself whenever I needed I mean whenever I needed HP region urgently we can also have paralyze or wound with it I mean blink is very necessary because I do that surprise attack with my star lords so instead of first aid you can have that uh, wound and paralyze it is mainly uh, if you have a support hero with you like mantis and cloak and dagger which are going to heal you this helps a lot or maybe if your tank is already having a first aid I a first aid uh, tactic so you can use wound or paralyze in that cases so coming on to our next item uh, okay uh, first of all the first item that I buy on my star lord is the attack speed boots because it gives the attack 50% attack speed bonus and which is very beneficial for his uh, for the star lord s1 
by by dealing continuous damage then next come is the volcarebo which i buy as i have explained you it is a best substitute for the uh, attack speed jungle item that we have then next comes is the double daggers and double dagger is mainly because of his unique passive which ignores the enemy defense so it gives a very good poke damage against the enemy tanks who already have the armor so what i do is by laning i will continuously poke them with my s1 so it will like uh, ignores their defense and deal uh, damage on them then comes the extra 7% movement speed which i really need because in the end i am going to sell my uh, boots and will equip some uh, other damaging or maybe the defense item as per the situation if i needed so 7% uh, movement speed then comes the 15% cooldown reduction and this is also very important because uh, you get that uh, low cooldown on your ultimate and as well as that uh, S1 and S2 so it's very beneficial to get that extra 15% cooldown also so next come is my uh, next item is the sky shadows so sky shadows earlier i have tried with the uh, that shadow uh, that silent hunter not shadow hunt, that silent hunter so the main difference which i have found is that silent hunter is good like it will give you critical damage and that attack speed is given same but that passive uh, because i don't use much of basic attack with the i mean his main damage come from his ultimate and s1 so uh, for star lord silent hunter is not that good uh, but instead this uh, sky shadows is better uh, as it gives you that attack speed bonus critical rate and most importantly that 7% movement speed that I need in the late game if I sell my uh, boots or maybe not late game whenever I feel like selling my boots next come is the god slayer earlier if you have noticed I have my god slayer uh, as second item uh, after I buy my jungle item of attack speed but now it is in the late be mainly because i need that s1 uh, like continuous damage from the s1 the main reason is bec it, it is the only reason that i have my god slayer back and i need some attack speed item before that though the mm, like the lack of damage i can feel when i am not having god slayer because earlier when i play like and jungler it is most likely an assassin what i do is i found on the map someone with the low hp go on with my s2 deal damage with my ultimate or s1 makes them low then comes the passive of my god slayer which is very beneficial to kill the enemies but now as i am not the ma i mean i am not the assassin i am the marksman so i am i buy this god slayer later so for our next last item if you are having the boots i mean if you want to have the boots continuous so the last item w would be storm breaker and notice this thing you can buy storm breaker directly after the double daggers why the reason is the this because double daggers give you 15 percent moments uh, that 15 percent cooldown reduction and storm storm breaker also gives you that 15 percent cooldown reduction that gives you overall 30 percent cooldown reduction that is very beneficial to like uh, move through the lanes with your uh, s2 and deal damage with your with your alt and s1 so that's why i'm buying this later because i don't want to run out of my energy by spamming my skills also you can uh, switch between your double daggers and the storm breaker so the reason i mean the situation will be when you are going to uh, change your this item for the storm break i mean for the dual dagger is that when you see your team is in the losing end or maybe your team is lacking in the farm or you are lacking in the farm uh, the double dagger cost 2100 and the storm breaker cost 2000 so it's uh, very beneficial though they have sort of a similar stats which you give i mean the storm breaker will da give you less damage but the cooldown is same then you get that attack speed bonus and the armor penetration is mainly when you deal damage on the enemy with your basic attack so in the beginning as i have told you that uh, you lack damage so you i mean the gold is also less if your team is losing then the storm breaker is better choice for the double dagger in the beginning now for our last item which will happen when in the late game you will sell your boots uh, that attack speed boots and will have uh, and will need the further item so i would say that uh, mainly try to go with the flow May like when you see the situation like who is the main damaging dealer in the enemy team 
or maybe like uh, when you see you need H, uh, I mean anti heal so you can buy that uh, before I mean you can buy it that anti heal item that is Heimdall sword or maybe you can have immortal glaive I mainly buy immortal glaive in the end because enemies have a lot of damage so I need to have that extra shield which I re generate uh, on the spot when I get like certain amount of damage uh, I don't know particular stats that uh, it gives you uh, when you lost your 25% uh, of the HP uh, in the 2 seconds time interval or I think 4 seconds time interval so that immortal glaive is very beneficial like it gives you physical damage also and the max HP but if you want to go for a I mean further damaging item then I would recommend either go for twilight blade or the penetration I mean gun gnir gun gnir this is very beneficial like if you see the enemies are having two tanks or like enemies have a lot of armor then gun glare is the best choice in or in the other case you can have twilight blade twilight blade is the best choice for the late game deal uh, to deal damage it is going to deal true damage on the enemies uh, so it's very beneficial for the late game damage but if you need a pure defense item then i would say either buy the captain america shield that is good uh, like if you see that marksman is doing a lot of damage but the best choice is that mijing jord that i would recommend to use mijing jord mainly because of its passive like star lord can run off run from his enemies very easily because of his s2 so you just have to stay away from the battlefield for like three seconds and then your this passive will activate it off region itself so which makes star lord very good at hit and run strategy or like pushing in the lanes so mijing jord after selling your boots is very good option so this is all about the build item regarding the star lord laning and why i have decided to pick uh, items in this uh, formation i hope you understand all of these things so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel as i upload every day also fo follow me on instagram and join my discord server you can find those both of these links in the video description as well as on the about page of my youtube channel so enjoy the rest of the gameplay with the background music attack Yeah. It's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Thinking that I'm too bad. Getting caught with a few thoughts. Cause I'm too bad. Speakers can't even handle me. Even what I got, nobody can train my energy. And I will never stop. I'm motivated by enemies. Setting up shop so everybody remember me. And now I am not going through life. Regretfully, I'd rather work on stop. What they call incessantly, the ones I'm on top. Just to live life pleasantly. Already got lost in my mind. Not a fantasy. I'm getting it. I got the soul to stop dropping rolls. Just lost stop control. And pop up. You fall like I got caught. I fall. I'm not bought. I'm sold. My stock rocks. It's gold. Hey, knock, knock. She holds it. Shit. Talk to clothes. I ain't stopping. It's hip hop, you know, hope is it rock and roll I'm not dropping down, no, my pocket's grown You can't stop the show, so get rocked, you know So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about your, I ain't never give it up So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about your, I ain't gonna make it Slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Now I'm never slowing down, cause we're blowing up now. I ain't never slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Attack with no questions in my own section and they still disconnected Cause their mind's been infected and they're filled with objection Too filled for recollection so we're losing all attention They don't know I'm in contention cause I'm gaining their attention Cause I'm making a connection, lyricism and aggression I've been feeling my ascension and my passion, my profession I'm attacking my obsession, taking action and progressing up I go off on the enemy, that's what makes you scared of me Make my plans carefully, then execute them daringly They say I act recklessly, but that's why I'm effective See, you can't predict my tendencies, I offer no transparency So people think I'm lost, but this thing will be a legend I'm never gonna stop till I'm one above second And my thoughts at the top of my mind stay present Don't let your dreams stop, cause it's driven as a blessing Come on.
all to my domain yeah. So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, 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 break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never giving up So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you so let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. You know I'm taking, taking, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't gonna make.